It's been nearly a year since the catastrophic, catastrophic flooding of historic Ellicott City. The region has made some major progress in rebuilding and recovery, but there is still work to be done. Tonight, Howard County unveils plans to make the city more resilient to any future flooding. WJZ is live. George Solis with details of this so-called master plan. George. That's right. Good evening, Vic. Well, it's a combination of a ton of research and community input that ultimately boils down into a well-planned roadmap for long-term rebuilding. There's people in the water! Whether you lived it or even just saw it, the deadly flooding that ravaged Ellicott City is forever ingrained in the minds of many. It's now been nearly a year since these dramatic images first began making headlines. The water got up right about where we were standing here. Um, it would have been about waist high on me right here. The National Weather Service calling it a one in a thousand year flood. In the days that followed, Sky Topper 13 capturing the devastation the deluge left behind. A month's worth of rain falling in just two hours. Immediately, the focus shifted to rebuilding and planning for the future. Wednesday, some of those plans being revealed. We've been doing a lot of studies since then. We've been doing a lot of work since then. For decades, flooding has been a concern in Ellicott City, in part because of where the city sits. Now, engineers and the public have been working together to devise a master plan to help better prepare the region for any future flooding. The reality is, is that our town is going to flood at some point, but how can we deter those floodwaters from completely destroying everything that we have invested in our community? To this day, work is still ongoing in helping rebuild historic Ellicott City. More than 20 projects in the works, all building towards the master plan at hand. A lot of work centering on strengthening infrastructure and by examining the potential threat posed by nearby waterways. A comfort of many here who've already been through so much. I'm still amazed every day that we were able to at least, you know, get open and get and rebuild. Now, a big part of this plan is a pretty unique flood model that not only allows researchers to recreate that historic flood, but allows them to see how other storms could potentially impact the region in the future. We're live tonight, George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News. George, thank you. The master plan will take years to decades to fully implement.